Hey everybody, Bill Owen at MMPCTech.com and what I have here is the Fractal Design to find R3 case that we modified for the John Hanlon fundraiser PC build. John Hanlon has been a long time legendary mentor in the PC modding community and um, he suffers from incurable asbestos poisoning um, so he can no longer work anymore and uh, to give back to uh, John for all the help that he's given guys that have just gotten into PC modding over the years we're doing this build to put up on eBay and auction off with proceeds going to John so my part in this community build was modifying the case that's going to be sent off to Richard Soros aka Darth Beavis who's going to install the system in it and what we've done is uh, we've done a custom airbrush paint job on it and I chose a patriotic theme just because of what John meant to everybody uh, well I say past tense but actually he's still alive and doing well he's just he needs money um, but uh, I just thought a, a patriotic thing would be appropriate um, and so we came up with this design and the Define R3 was a great blank canvas because it was white inside out already um, the only thing it was missing was a window which I did this custom window and I wanted it to be as clean as possible and I wanted the custom graphic to be more subtle not really in your face with a big huge eagle draped over it in the flag ah you know just kind of thing because there's people from around the world that are involved in this project so we just kind of kept it a little bit more subtle in the lower quarter of it um, one thing you notice off the bat looking at the outside is that we've got our diamond neural aluminum feet on it and this was to raise it up a bit because what I've done is put a 240 radiator in the floor of the chassis that's drawing up air from below. But before we get there, up on top, one nice thing about the Define R3 is that it already has space for, or, or two dedicated spaces for either a 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter exhaust fans and the top panel. And what I did is, looking here, this is the factory stock version as I cut out the perforation here and then installed our MMPC Tech dual dual and 40 uh, billet radiator grill on top which you can be used with fans as well um, for these two Prolimitec blue LED 140 millimeter fans so a little bit of eye candy there and then while we're before we go inside we can take a look at the bottom here this is where the 240 radiator is in the floor and there's another one of our billet grills here um, unfortunately it's beneath where you can't see it but it's kind of like a special surprise for the person who gets this is like one day when they go like oh wow there's another one underneath that's cool so um, yeah you'll see that we got the feet here it raised it up significantly significantly more so than the factory version which is lower but you got to keep in mind that the Define R3 was really um, it was designed for silent computing more than anything and what we've done is kind of go in there and change the rule book the rule book a bit here let's take a look on the inside see what I've done what's cool is that we've got this factory version here so you can see the difference between the two um, mounted the Hardware Labs Black Ice Stealth GT240 radiator in the floor here. And where the real modification work came into play was not so much doing that, but actually modifying the hard drive column to accommodate the radiator in there. And if you take a look between this and the factory version, factory version, which has eight three and a half inch hard drive trays, or which also fit SSDs. Um, I cut out a notch in there to fit that radiator inside and then right here which is already um, a dedicated uh, support piece for the hard drive column drilled out holes for the DDC pump that's going to go in there cheapskate had to do what he designed a custom water pump cover that's blue acrylic it's going to go on a DDC pump that's going to be located here then I also cut out this notch right here so the tubing could come down to the radiator so you know, eliminated a bit of work for Darth. Uh, all he has to basically do is figure out 
um, what type of reservoir and what size of reservoir and where he's going to mount it in there. So, um, it's, you can also see the difference here between the gap raised a bit with these feet versus the stock version. And that's basically it. So, there you have it. That's going to get shipped over to DARF so we can put a real nice system in it. There's already uh, a bunch of other individuals from the community that are doing cool stuff for this, including um, Lutro Customs, who's uh, sleeving the power supply with a red, white, and blue individual sleeve design, and uh, some other people that have contributed, and a lot of people have contributed to uh, just making donations towards John to help him, um, help him financially get through the next several months. So hopefully, uh, You'll tell your friends about this build when it's listed up on eBay, and you can find out more by just entering in John Hanlon build in Google, and it should bring you to the one workload that we have on bittech.net. So please go there and check out the build. Tell your friends and coworkers. Maybe somebody's in the market for a new desktop this year, or you've got a kid that's graduated from school soon and looking for a new desktop build for college. This will definitely be it. There's also going to be uh, Keyboard, mouse, and headset from Steel Series that they donated towards the build. We've got Patriot Memory, Zotac, Gigabyte also donating hardware. So it's an awesome community project. And um, thanks again to Fractal Design for donating the Define R3 case for this build.